Hi everybody, I'm Patrick from Colonial Spirits in Acton, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about decanting. Um, figured that this would probably be a good topic since the holidays are coming and people will be buying and trying wines that are a little bit more expensive, a little nicer than something that they would buy for, for everyday use. And one of the ways that you can further improve the quality of that wine is to use a decanter. So this is the decanter. As you can see, it's a, uh, a vessel that is wide and it is shallow. The reason that it is wide and shallow is so that as you pour the wine in there, um, when everything is in and the decanter is full, the most amount of wine possible is coming in contact with oxygen. Um, oxygen is what's going to get the wine to release more aromas. It's going to get it to develop faster. And that's the goal of decanting. Um, depending on what you have uh, in your decanter kit, because they always get sold in kits, you may have something like this, a bubbler. Um, bubbler goes in like this, you pour the wine in, and it um, gets more oxygen in there. You'll also see little strainers and other fancy little doohickeys, but this is the basic unit, and this is really all you need. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, when you're opening a bottle of wine to uh, be decanted, is to take the foil off, which you do like this. Um, and then it comes off nice and easy like that. The reason that you cut down here and not up top is because a lot of the really old bottles of wine, which you're likely to be decanting, have lead foil, and you don't want anybody drinking anything that's come in contact with lead. That's not very good table manners. So then we're just going to get the uh, corkscrew in here. And this is not a very good corkscrew. This is one I borrowed from the store and we use it to torture our sales reps because it doesn't like to come out. And there you go. So now we're ready to decant the bottle of wine. Uh, you should try and do this over a white surface. The reason being that you want to be able to actually see the stream of wine as it goes into the decanter. Uh, what happens with old wines, in particular old red wines, is you get this layer of sediment that forms over many, many years, and you don't want to drink that. So the white background lets you see the clear stream of wine as it goes into the decanter, and when you start to see that sediment show up or that stream becomes cloudy, you stop pouring because most everything that's left in the bottle is going to have sediment, and you don't want to deal with that. So you should consider what you have in the decanter when the cloudiness starts showing up as what you're going to get out of that bottle of wine. So this is the part where if you were at a fancy restaurant, the sommelier would bring out the nice long candle and make a big show of getting enough light um, so that you could see all the wine going in. Uh, you really don't need to go through all of that. Just look. And so what you would do is you just pour the wine in slowly and you'll see the bubbler is going here and it's dispersing all of the wine into the bottom of the decanter. And then you sometimes you have to stop and wait because uh, it takes a while for all of this to get in. And then we just keep going again. And the whole time I can see that this uh, wine is still clear, nice ruby red. And uh, this wine's actually filtered before it's bottled, so you're not going to see that sediment show up. But, you know, everybody knows the difference between clear and cloudy. So, you know, just keep your eyes open, and eventually you'll have a nice full decanter. So that's how you decant a bottle of wine. Uh, this is most helpful for really good quality red wines that aren't mature yet. Uh, that's what getting oxygen into the wine is for. It's going to get it to unlock some of those flavors and really age it faster than it would in the cellar. Um, old red wines will benefit from this too because of that layer of sediment. You want to avoid serving anybody's sediment. So uh, pouring it into the decanter is a great way to avoid that. Uh, some people will also decant white wines. I don't do that, uh, but I can imagine there are some benefits. Again, you'll get it to uh, you'll get it to age faster. And uh, it's actually kind of trendy to decant champagne right now. Um, the argument is that if you get it to unlock more aromas, uh, you can enjoy the champagne differently than you would 
uh, with all of those bubbles. But you pay a lot of money for those bubbles, so I don't really see the point in doing that. So uh, you can get a decanter at Bed Bath & Beyond. They're really not too expensive. Uh, Pier 1 Imports, Crate & Barrel, you can get them at those places too. You'll spend a bit more, but they, uh, they might look nicer. But the functionality is all going to be the same. Um, when you would decant is really a function of how old the bottle of wine is. You can decant anything and it'll improve it, um, but if you're going to have something like a 2007 Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa, you're going to want to decant that for a longer period of time than like a Bordeaux from the 80s, uh, because the Bordeaux is already mature. So it doesn't really have to be aged by coming in contact with the air. The cab, on the other hand, is still going to be on the young side. So, you know, if you are going to serve dinner at eight, maybe decant the bottle of cab at four or, you know, even at noon. It's not going to hurt it. It's a young, robust wine. Uh, the only thing that decanting is going to do up till like eight hours out is improve it. On the other side of the coin, if we've got a 1982 Bordeaux, and good for you if you do, um, you want to you wanna decant just to get the sediment out of the way, and then I would actually serve from there. At the most, decant for an hour. Because one of the real nice things about old wines is that you can smell them and taste them develop in the glass. And uh, if you decant it for a long period of time, you're going to miss out on how dynamic that wine is, and that's really one of the, the beauties of having an old bottle of wine. So that's about all there is to it. Um, again, I'm Patrick from Colonial Spirits in Acton, Massachusetts. If you have any questions, leave a comment, send an email, and I'll get right back to you. Um, and yeah, I hope that this is uh, helpful and makes a difference at your table some night.